In 2018, the rental wind farm was installed in the Belgian North Sea, approximately 40 kilometers from the coast of Ostend. This 309 megawatt offshore wind farm consists of 42 wind turbines and will annually produce renewable energy for 300,000 Belgian households. The rental project is the first offshore wind farm developed by the Otary Group, gathering eight Belgian companies active in offshore wind energy. The construction of the rental project started in 2017, with seabed preparations in the rental concession area, situated between two sandbanks, the Ludovic Bank and the Thornton Bank, in a designated area for offshore wind energy. In order to install the foundations for the wind farm, the seabed had to be levelled in some places and on each foundation position, a filter layer and gravel bed had to be laid for stabilisation purposes. The foundations for the rental wind turbines consist of two pieces, cylindrical steel tubes called monopiles and transition pieces which are placed on top of them. They require a very large installation vessel, a jack-up vessel, big vessels who can position themselves stable on the seabeds offshore. The TPs are in fact placed on top of the monopiles. They are equipped with a boat landing and a ladder to provide safe access for the personnel for later maintenance and inspections. The rental wind turbine components have been manufactured in Europe and Vietnam. Then, all major components were transported from their production facilities to the pre-assembly harbour in Ostend. The use of specialised roll-on roll-off vessels with a movable bow and the landing pontoon in Ostend made it possible to just drive the cargo on and off board. After the components arrived in Ostend, the wind turbine contractor pre-assembled the three different tower parts into one tower with a total height of 87 metres and prepared the nacelles for installation offshore. To install the wind turbines at sea, all components were loaded onto a jack-up installation vessel. For each trip, the vessel could carry and install two complete wind turbines. That's two towers, two nacelles and six rotor blades. First step is to install the tower, the tower of the wind turbine. The tower was completed onshore in one piece, so one piece will be installed in less than two hours onto the foundation. Once the tower is installed on the foundation, we can start with the next phase and it's the installation of the nasal. The nasal hosts a generator and converters and other electrical equipment which allows to transform the wind energy into electricity. The blades are installed one by one in a horizontal position and each blade has a length of 75 meters which is almost equal to the entire wind span of an Airbus A380, the largest passenger plane in the world. After offshore installation, the rental wind turbines reach a total tip height of 196 metres, which makes them, at the time of installation, the tallest wind turbines in the Belgian North Sea. Within the wind farm, almost 50 kilometres of infield cables were laid to link the wind turbines to each other and to the offshore transformer platform. This platform is a large steel building with four decks, weighs 1,100 tons and is also installed on a monopile with a transition piece. It is designed to endure the extreme weather conditions in the North Sea for 25 years. The offshore transformer platform is known as the beating heart of the wind farm because it collects the energy produced by the wind turbines and transforms it to a higher voltage level to enable transport to the mainland via a 40 kilometers long export cable. At the start, we cleared obstacles to allow the works to continue along the route. Several obstacles were inspected and we also found a few unexploded ordinances, bombs, which had to be removed by Dover. The cable vessel and the barge positioned itself roughly five kilometers in front of the coast of Zeebrugge. There the cable was transpooled from the cable vessel to the barge. Then the barge started moving on anchors towards the coast of Zeebrugge, whilst the cable vessel moved towards the offshore transformer platform. 
with the wind turbines, the offshore transformer platform, and all cables in place, the rental wind farm is ready to deliver renewable energy to the Belgian consumers. ONM, or Operations and Maintenance, takes over once construction of the wind farm has completed, and we will make sure that we maximize reliability of the assets and, of course, maximize the green electricity we can produce. Belgium is really a front runner for green electricity, especially offshore, and it's amazing to be a part of this evolution and being part of the first projects in Belgium of offshore wind energy. The offshore environment can really be challenging. Therefore, all our colleagues need to be able to count on each other and teamwork is of the utmost importance. We're here on top of the wind farm, about 100 meters above sea level. This is where you really feel the wind, which we harvest and convert into renewable energy. Being here on top of our wind farm, in between all other Belgian wind farms, gives an amazing feeling. This is what every offshore worker does it for. After years of hard work, our wind farm is now installed offshore and everything went according to plan. We can look back on a very successful execution of a large and complex project. It has been very challenging, but a strong focus, professionalism, positive spirit and teamwork with all the parties involved made this a success. We are very proud of everyone who has contributed to the realization and the construction of the rental wind farm. Offshore wind is a vital part of the Belgian energy mix of today and tomorrow. And this will allow us to come another step closer to the conversion to renewable energy. For at least 20 years, the rental wind farm will deliver electricity to the national grid and annually provide 300,000 Belgian households with clean and renewable energy.